Hey. Hi, my name's Mitch, and I'm with OSU. We came to Panama for a study abroad program in tropical field ecology. Um, my research group, uh, Catherine and Erica, are my group members, and we decided to focus on aquatic ecosystems. So one of the interesting things that we thought might be compelling is that a lot of the other groups were choosing terrestrial systems, and that's what I'm most comfortable with, is assessing terrestrial ecosystems and diversity and ecosystem function with, there within. So we actually went around and looked at freshwater pools. So we looked at temporary vernal pools, and we looked at uh, shoreline pools near the canal. And one of the most interesting things was the diversity of life within the temporary pools, which I did not necessarily expect. I thought maybe a larger body of water might foster a greater diversity of habitats, but we actually found that in these smaller temporary pools, we had a higher diversity of classes. And so the reason that we looked at classes was because we couldn't have the proper equipment to identify these uh, individual organisms to the species level. So we assessed multiple metrics of diversity in eco uh, um, within the ecosystems, and we found that in the coastal uh, or shore areas, there was uh, fewer classes. And one of the reasons this might be the case is that the disturbance of the canal might actually be impacting, and it might be too frequent for a lot of species to subsist, uh, maintain themselves there. And another reason that is suggested by previous literature within aquatic ecosystems is that the diversity of these systems is impacted by predation. So in the smaller temporary pools, there are less large predators, thereby releasing some of the uh, lower trophic levels from having to deal with predation pressure, and that might actually result in increased competition for food resources rather than direct effects on survival. So one of the challenges we came across was the fact that many of these pools would be there one day or wouldn't be there the next day, or the level of the water would actually fluctuate day to day. And it actually came to mind how difficult it is to sample for these various metrics within a tropical setting, because a lot of these habitats are very small and they change day to day.